here's the good news I've actually got the bolt out and I've um, redone the threads with a tap and I've put a bolt into it and torqued it up to 110 new newton meters and it holds the way I got it out was I drilled it I drilled out the center then I heated it with a blowtorch then I rapidly cooled it with a freezer spray and then I rocked the bolt backwards and forwards with um, an impact wrench. In fact, that was a bit of a breakthrough. I realized I'd read about doing a sort of rocking thing where you uh, you you turn it clockwise and then, as though you're doing it up bizarrely, and then you, you back it off and turn it anti-clockwise and you keep going backwards and forwards. And that's what I did. Um, perhaps what I didn't say was that um, I cut the bolt down, but I, uh, put two nuts on the end and locked them together, um, which is why I was able to then use the impact wrench on the on the bolt. I had a post on uh, the 116 Trophy Facebook page, and James Reddish had kindly shared a video showing what's involved to replace the structure behind this, the, the actual sleeve thing that you can see there and the structure behind it. It's really complicated. It's not something I could have taken on. You know, judging by the uh, the work involved, and James does actually give an estimate on um, work workshop hours, I realised it was going to be like £1,500 upwards. And quite honestly, <laughs> I, I'd realised that if I couldn't, couldn't recover from this, the only way out was to scrap this shell and buy, buy another car um, as a donor car. Um, I probably will eventually need a donor car once I start racing, but I haven't sorted out a location to put it. I certainly don't want it in this garage because I wouldn't have any other space. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm just so glad that this has worked. I just, I was really worried last night when I read, uh, when I, I watched James's uh, video and I realised there, there was no way I was going to be able to repair this. No way. You know, I was thinking the worst, really. Not that I've put that much into this this um, shell. I mean, I have dealt with all the, you know, the rust and things, and uh, you know, I will, I would lose some hours if I did scrap this. Um, but it's not like I've had the roll cage welded in or anything like that yet. So, um, you know, and and in fact, to be doubly sure on all of this. I've decided that I'm going to bolt the um, the uh, subframe and uh, bolt everything back in. And I'm going to try and I'll, I'll certainly drive it on the road. It's, I've got to take it for an MOT, but that should be OK. I, I'm then going to drive it on the road for a bit. And I'm also going to try and get a track day in before I spend any more money doing anything much to the body. Because if these bolts don't hold at the back, I do not want to paved to have the um the roll cage fitted only to find out that i have to take the whole lot out again so i'm going to have to be absolutely sure that this is um, sturdy enough to take it um the only other thing i'm going to try to do if i can and i, I might try and call james next week he used a a longer bolt he did construct a slightly longer sleeve into the body so the sleeve that sits behind this thing here um, he constructed a, a longer one and he used longer bolts. But what I found was that if I just run the bolts up into the sleeve without um, any of the um, the bushes, uh, bush inserts or anything acting as a spacer, you can actually run the bolts up further than they would normally go. Now, there may not be any thread beyond the end of where they screw up to, but even if I gain, say, five or ten millimetres of thread, um, because I think anything, any additional thread uh, engagement I can get has got to be worthwhile. I have to say that when I ran the tap in, it was very grunchy where it was, I'm still maintained that I think what was in there was the, you know, aluminium out of the sleeves had got carried into there and was jamming up the threads. I think that's what was coming out. Um, but once I'd run the tap through, it seemed... It, it did seem reasonable. I mean, it wasn't wobbling around all over the place. And, you know, there definitely seems to be some um, 
some metal, enough metal in there to do it. And obviously if it talks to 110, then 110 Newton meters, then it must be pretty good.